morning boys and girls. This is Shauna from New Parents Support. Today we're going to be reading you a story. I just took off my mask because we are still practicing social distancing and wearing masks. And we are actually here at Hickam Beach. There's Diamond Head. And we might see some airplanes fly um, while I'm reading the story. So that might be cool. So cool. So today's story is Limu the Blue Turtle in his Hawaiian garden. Let's hear all about it. Let's see what's going on here. Limu the blue turtle had the most beautiful underwater garden in the entire ocean. It was so beautiful that sea creatures came from faraway places to live there. Limu loved his colorful Hawaiian garden and took very good care of it. Oh, look at how pretty it is. Beautiful. One day, Limu saw his friend Jonah, the humpback whale. Aloha, Jonah, he yelled. Aloha, Limu, replied the whale. I know you love beautiful things, so I brought you a beautiful seaweed tree from the faraway forest. Thank you so much. I love it, said Limu. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Do we have blue whales in Hawaii, Ms. Donna? We do have humpback whales in Hawaii, and I believe that they come around December to May. Um, so if you want to ask mom and dad to take you whale watching, I know that there's plenty of opportunities to do so around that time. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Let's see what goes on with this new tree. Limo planted the seaweed tree in his underwater garden and looked beautiful among his other seaweed and corals. Look at how pretty it is. Great. The seaweed tree grew and grew. It grew so big that it blocked the sun from other seaweed trees and they started to wilt. There was no more seaweed to eat. The small fishes left. And when the, there were no more small fishes, the big fish left, had no food, so they left too. How sad. Soon there was nothing in Lima's underwater garden except the huge seaweed tree. Huh. That's kind of a lonely garden, huh? Limo decided to take the seaweed tree back to the faraway forest. Even though the seaweed tree was beautiful, it was not good for his Hawaiian underwater garden. Aww. He put the seaweed tree in his mouth and started swimming towards the faraway forest. The tree was very large and it seemed to grow heavier and heavier with each paddle. Oh no! I hope he can get it there. I hope he makes friends along the way or something. Me too. Let's see what happens. Soon Lima became very tired. If I leave the tree here, it will also destroy this part of the ocean. We don't want to do that. He knew that he had to continue on, but he was so tired. You look so silly, said the voice from the dark blue water. What are you doing? Oh, I wonder who the voice is. Maybe he will make a friend after all. When Lima looked up, he saw a pink turtle. You're pink, said Limo. A pink turtle? Wow. That's almost as silly as a blue turtle, huh? Oh, let's wait for that to kick off real quick. You should because they sting and it hurts. Yeah. 
Okay. So definitely stay away from them, but they're pretty to look at. So look with your eyes, not anything else. Okay. Soon they reached a huge forest of seaweed trees. There must be millions of seaweed trees. This is your real home, Lena told the seaweed tree. He replanted the huge tree next to the other trees. Oh, look at that. It looks like, um, reminds me of Christmas trees around Christmas time. Thank you, said Nemo. Now I have to go home and fix my garden. I don't know whether I can do that by myself. Oh, do you think Cora will help him? I think so. They're friends now. Oh, that's true. Friends help each other. I will help you, said Coral. Everyone needs healthy plants to live. Well, how nice. They worked hard to fix his underwater garden. Some of the seaweeds and fishes never came back, but some did. Their return made all the difference in the world. Oh, how nice. So a lot of his friends came back. Nemo and Coral settled down together and enjoyed their new underwater Hawaiian garden with their children. Ooh. Oh, they got married, Michelle. Yeah, they did. And each child did his or her part to take care of the Hawaiian garden. And here's their names. I don't know if I'm going to say it right, so I am sorry. It's Paha, 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 Kohu, Kakanaka. Loloa, Kala, Ele Ele, and Lipoa. So I don't know, I probably said some of them wrong, but that's their children. Wow, so cute. And that is the story about Limu and his, the blue turtle and his Hawaiian garden. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned. We're going to have a fun activity. Bye. Bye.